Hello everybody, and welcome back to some more wonderful magical magic times. Die. Since we've killed all these guys before, we've already got their gems and completed the overworld, so we're just gonna charge on past them and instead go into the world, which I think this is the first one, Cliff Town. Hopefully the sound does not continue to break, because I think I heard it on the main menu screen while I was doing my one, twos, and threes to sync up my audio. Let's go. Oh no, it's a Mexican. Matador, dude. No idea why they went this. I turn. There we go. And there's nothing beyond. Just death and destruction. And interesting music. Well, let's go. She smacked him, and he ran at me. I wonder, can I drown in that? Or does it just... Yeah, it just pushes you off. It's a good game. That's a good game. You cannot accidentally die in random things. Anything back here? No, it's... Oh! You don't have a person to throw at me! Ah, you're now dead. Get that? Nothing else. I like, I like the like uh, the amount of effort that was that went into this. Mainly because all the diverse enemies, enemy types, uh, excuse me, the good music, which I hope please do not break, because music is good. Hoi hoi ah ah, the egg fifth. He stole my sunny side. You get back here. You cannot run forever. No, Audrey, you Star Wars little munchkin. Do not giggle at me. Ah, we'll meet him back around. Surprise, foo! That's what you need to do. Air blast them away. Because I think that's why this game works so much. It's a simple enough concept with a simple enough execution. It just works. Halvor. How's a dragon supposed to flame metal armor anyway? Remember, Spyro, flame won't harm metal, but charging with your horns, that should do the trick. We know this, but oh well. It's confined to saving the dragons and it gives them a kind of personality, and they're able to do some voice acting, so it's not that big of a deal. It's not like whenever you run into an enemy, it's like, oh, Mega Man, Mega Man, you gotta look at this! And it's like, no. Give me a soul. It's my soul. Uh-oh, no, no. I thought I had the, the music skipping, please, no. I want the music to live forevermore. Please. No, you can't do this to me. Game. I love you, Dominic, but you have misery for growing down and dying. You met me. I had the crackles of death! The crackles of death are here. Crackles of death are here. Please, no. Not Sparrow! Not the glory that is the glorious purple dragon man. Oh, that, that enemy dropped a tin jewel. Why aren't you a boss? Oh, poop. Hooray! Take this, vampire dude! Plus, why are they like chickens? Why do they seem to have their own culture? If they're just monsters created by Nasty Nook to kill me. Hey? Oh! There is no key to this chest. Instead, we must blow it up. Oh, wrong button. I always forget sometimes. Sometimes that didn't even hurt me. Um. That's weird. 
Plus, I like the music. And the crackles of death seem to have subsided, so that's always nice. Enzo. Hey, what's on the other side of that river? Why don't you glide there and find out? I asked you a question and you didn't even answer it. You purple dragon monkey. It has a life of its own! Flee from the mystical magical man! Uh, well, first off, we have to go rooftop hunting. Now go blow up the big blunky chest. Wow, they're giving the tenors away for free. Whoop. Gotta use that down smash. Ow. I just love the way that this entire game is done. Like, the controls are eh, well, a little wonky sometimes, but they're a good wonky. Like, sort of like a spiral control is how you'd kind of expect them to. Just not the camera. The, the camera sucks. Is there anything in the options to fix that? No. Ain't nothing to be done. And now we must glide on over, because unlike actual dragons, we cannot fly. I hear the phone ringing, but it's probably just another telemarketer breast cancer awareness person. You ain't gonna steal my money. I know you people. You thieves. Oh yeah, and magical barrier. Didn't show that off last time we found mystical magical barrier. Burn alive. Ah! The turkey buzzards. The turkey buzzards of doom and demise and death that prey upon us dragons. Well, little dragons like me. No! You cannot dive bomb me. I dive bomb you. No. Wow, is there gonna be 350? 350 gems? Or just 340? There's more! I'm missing so Oh yes, because there's some on top of my starting platform. Marco, with Polo! You've reached the highest point in Clifftown. You can get to almost anywhere from here. If I were you. I'd use that whirlwind there. What whirlwind where? What whirlwind where? Oh, that whirlwind. He he didn't even point to the real whirlwind. He didn't even point to the real Dirty Dan. But at least it's nice and gives you a shortcut back up. Great game design. And I'm not even being sarcastic there. That is really good game design because the player went through all that uh, way to get there, so if you get back up here to do these, but you find yourself unable to because you jump down, well, no worries, kid. We got you back. There's a teleporter, or uh, a, a little nice little thing to get you all the way back up, free of hassle and charge. But I could have sworn that I. What am I missing? Mm hmm I'm missing some gems, and that makes me angry. Wherever could they be? Reveal thyself, you villainous hacks! I'm here to steal yourselves. Add them to my collection, so that you do not become your own living things. Only to serve a dark evil master called Gork. Nasty Mork. Well, might as well go looky looky. Find another gosh dang cookie. Hmm. Yeah, let's take a look from a top. The highest. Point in cliff down. Yay. Eh. Hmm. Hmm. 
I don't think it. <laughs> I, I saw. I thought I saw. I thought I saw. I thought I saw. I thought I saw something. Oh. I thought I saw a body there. I did. I did see a body there. Don, mystical force field. You should not keep me from my destiny. I did. I did see some treasure. Is that enough to get me all the way to my quarter? I think so. Wahey! Well, hey. And now we make it all our way back to the palace. The palace of the Sepatinian people. Wahey! Well, hey. And then we can rule the world. And see, they have a nice little, uh, little transportation back to the top. That's good level design right there. See? It's nice, it's good. And a little thinking. You just gotta... Well, you just gotta think. Don't rock me! I rock you! You jerks. <laughs> Could've sworn that there was actually another level back here. I just gotta look. <laughs> jerks. Hmm, could have sworn that there was a level back here. Oh, well. I killed a bunny rabbit and I feel no remorse. Ooh, to the ice cavern. In a desert. Okay. Not fooling me again. Because I think this is where the levels start to get a little long. A little long. Just look into the distance. That cave over there. We're going over there. This is Shadow of the Colossus. Just look at that distance. <laughs> yes, Santa Claus, nobody. Hey, <laughs> no, you yeti little, you yeti little monkey. You're a monkey yeti. Then again, the yeti's probably on. But want to stay? A word of caution, little one. Wait until you grow big, <laughs> like me, before charging those large enemies. Okay, Auric, whatever you say. What's the bats? Uh, go leave me alone, bats. You're making people scare. Give me that. Then give me that tenner. Like a camera? Ooh. Camera. It's falling in my plans of world domination. You dare hit me? Now I'm just ever a little bit slightly starting to get annoyed of the dragons going, but hey, do not do this to this enemy of. We know. Do not prove the sequelitis that I just saw and quoted. Be real. I'm just gonna hide and smack you. Shut up, bats. I thought that was a stair for one moment. Just walk up these staircase to get to the treasures beyond. Treasures? I'm a dragon, of course I like treasure. I oh, already got the 100 treasure. Ah, well, hey. Hmm, go ahead, gather these. Hmm. Yeah, this seems like a dead end when I make our way over. That's not a dead end. It's just a little sidey thingy. Ooh. Now, this is where things get a little bit tricky, where backtracking to get treasure might be a little weird. Todor! Psst. Spyro! Some big norks up ahead are wearing armor. And in the ice cave, armor can make their feet very slippery. Hmm. I like how they actually added a hmm sound effect to that. That was needed very much less so, Mr. Batman. Uh, Mr. Bruce. Master Bruce. And do not charge. I'm just trying. Grab it. Grab it. 
Oh well. We have to go all the way back up. Oh no, the sound! Do not crackles of doom! No crackles of no! Crackles of doom are here! They're ruining the music! The I loathe them. <laughs> the crackles of doom! <laughs> Destroyed the immersion! The immersion, Billy. The immersion that we so seek. And I think I might have scared it away. Yay. Do not fall. You're a dragon. Dragons do not fall. They crash. Learn to crash, young man. Like your brother, Crash Bandicoot. How do I get these fools? These. Oh, do I fall down from above? I don't get why wearing armor would make you slippery. I know that would make you more prone to being slippery, maybe? But I don't get the slipperiness in and of itself. Being the cause of death here. I'm pretty sure it's because I shoved him. <laughs> I see it in the distance. I do, but I don't want to go there just yet. And I want those. And he was doing the cat thing, but I missed it because I'm a fool. No! Oh, do me. I was a little worried of charging these because it's just like, I don't want to die. But then it's like, don't worry, you won't die. I was like, okay. <laughs> go away, bats. I said, go away! My blood will not be yours today! And then we killed Santa Claus. Grandma got run over by a dragon. And nobody cared, because Granny's sweets were the worst thing about Christmas. Even Santa Claus openly admitted he hated Granny's mushroom pie. So he stopped giving presents to the good little girls and boys of Grandma Town, Andor. Andor, Thank what do you, you gotta say, Andy? Me. See, he just said thanks. A little bit of respect. You got yourself sealed away. I saved you. Give me your money. Your life savings, because without me, you wouldn't have a life, so I think I deserve it. At least put me in your will, so I have no obligation to save you in the future. There was noise, but we're just gonna head back, maybe kill some bats, get the key, so that we can be Sora. My ears! The king! Scar! The sound is evil. Hmm, what things to talk about here? Oh yeah, I forgot to talk about that. That's funny. Oh yeah, but I think I'm thinking of changing up my naming and... Uh, uh, like a thumbnail approach. Where I actually make the thumbnails something like uh, from the actual game. Inspiration of the good old Colonel Gollum, Sandoman Man. Mainly because it just feels a little bit clickbaby, like, <laughs> like my most fame, my most watched Shantae episode, screaming bikinis and statues. Oh my, indeed, oh my. So I'm gonna keep it just a nice little bit personalized, but. But it basically says what it is on the turn. You stop it. Do not hit wall. Do not hit the wall, you... Because then you'll fall instead of crash again. And as we establish dragons, don't fall, they crash. You stop it. I'm gonna drink some water. <laughs> ah. Now we can fly down here, fly down there, and we lose no time. Now a 
right back to where we were. Throw! You missed! And now your jingle ball is a jingle gun. The mystical bobbles! And the mystical marbles! Platforming bibbly boo! Why, yes, Spyro, they're coming for you. The caves go deeper. Those on snow boots. You idiot. I find it funny the one time they decide we're going to give our army armor like complete armor so he won't be able to do anything and give it to the big dudes they give it to them on the snow level masterful planning Rita Repulsa is proud what? the snowshoe man is back for my blood Santa Claus no I barely hit them. My horn went through them. And, uh, uh, the sound. Smash. Get out here if you swimsuit cap, man. I'm going for you. Stupid bat. Are you screeching? It's hurting my ears. Ragnar. Where's your brother, Auk? Done well, Spyro. Some dragons thought you weren't ready, but I knew they were wrong. I'm ready, all right. Ready for what? Yeah, th that's the one thing I don't understand. It's just like, it is your destiny, Spyro. I knew you were ready. It's like, what are you talking about? You insulted nasty Nork and you sent magical things. There is no mystical magical prophecy. I am not Harry Potter. I'm not Harry Potter. Quit treating me like him. Asher. Oh no. Thank you for releasing me. Ash is now an old man. Where's Pikachu? Nowhere. Pikachu's have a 50 year life. Noise? Okay. Jerk. I assume. Yeah, that is the ice cave that we could have jumped down from, but instead we went the little bit long way. No more stretching polo for you. Oh, what? Ooh. Oh, baby, my honey, I want them. I got to have the souls of the damned. But how do I get over there? I guess through the icy cave. Yaves. Leave me alone, Bat. I did not disturb your rest. Leave me alone. Your assistant screeching hurts me in my soul. And the ice, it does nothing. And I double bounced off the ice. Well, hey. Okay, okay, okay. Aha. Gliding point. Heh. <laughs> Um, serves what purpose? It serves no purpose! Except to hurt my soul. Hmm. Let's take a look at it. How do you get that? How do you get that? I wanna know, Billy, I wanna know! Do I even have all? No, I don't. I'm being cheated. I'm being smarmed. I have been cheated of a single gem. I will not rest this. I will not rest this. I'm coming for you all. Killing all your families. Stealing your souls. Ah. 
Ah, well. <laughs> no. I'm gonna die! Yay! That just goes to show you, kids. Death is a shortcut in life.